I was chatting to a CEO of a, of a gym chain in England and she said uh, how that they were thinking about changing their messaging to their clients instead of like, come to us, we're going to help you get fit, reach your goals and everything. Is, you know, her thoughts were that they needed to change that to say, look, we, we can't guarantee anything, you know, like you're going to have to change it. You know, you're the one who's going to get the results. We can it. help you. And it, and it really got me thinking because... How many, you know, we, you've been in the industry for, for as long as I have, probably longer, and you, you see so many fitness products and trainers and gyms out there, and it's like, oh, we can, you know, this is what we can do for you. Even, even like the QVC world, my guess is, there's a lot of that. But yeah. when she said that, I thought it was really right because it's almost like, well, you're, you're setting expectations from the beginning. I'm not going to do this. Right. <laughs> I need to tell right. you that. Not that. I'm sure it doesn't <laughs> sell very well, but... But right. it, it, is, it is very, it's, it's quite truthful, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's, and that's something I've always said, like, to me, like, if, if, first of all, they need to be truthful with me, too, because I would tell them, if you lie to me, you're done. I'm firing you. Like, I fire, like, people say, you fire your clients? I'm like, mm-hmm. Like, it's easy for me to do that because I don't want, they're my advertisement. They're my word of mouth. People are like, oh, you work out with me, Ugh. if that, like, if this way you look, like, and <laughs> and it is about like people want to change. They they want to change their body, whatever it is they work within the framework of their genetics. But if they're not doing it, I'm like, mm. what? Are, like, these are not magic wands. These are hands. This is all I can do. I can teach you. I can train you. I can coach you. I can mentor you. But this has to change for our psychology, like your brain. Change your thinking. Change your body. <laughs> plain and simple that's all you need to do and I should I shouldn't say it's that simple but it is it's changing your thinking first then that changes your action that changes your outcome and results so that beautiful cycle it's not a vicious cycle it's a good cycle it's when it goes the other direction it's when they don't change their thinking and they talk negative about themselves and they talk about being fat and so I always tell them like you talk about being fat you're gonna be fat if you talk about being fit and healthy and lean and how beautiful you are, that's where you're going. Like that's what I tell people that like I make them look in the mirror and say, I am beautiful. I am fit. I'm healthy. I'm lean. Like if they can't talk to themselves and speak life into themselves, I can't help them. That's it. How right. do you do or, or do you? I I, I noticed you'd um, you'd followed a guy who I when I was I, I can't remember when I started him in business, I did a lot of stuff with him. Yeah. Dennis Waitley. Oh um, yeah, yeah. And um, um, he, yes, he's, yes. Uh, he had a he had a book on winning, and he did a bunch of stuff actually. And I and I was I was wondering, you know, do, that type of philosophy that you're talking about, do you apply that not just in the fit, fitness sense, but do, is that what you apply in business and, and other areas of your life? And do you, do you find that that that's important to help you as an individual as well? Absolutely. And uh, my husband actually gave me here. We're going to date myself. The tape series, The Psychology <laughs> of Winning there in college. So he saw Dan- Dennis Waitley here in California. He sent me the tape series at college because I was a very, um, I guess you call it a heady gymnast. So back then, this was my sophomore year in college, like I would almost talk negative about myself and obviously wouldn't excel to where I wanted to excel. So he said, I think you need to listen. This guy is amazing, and I'd never heard of him. So in my Walkman, of course, with my <laughs> headphones on, I would listen to it. And his tape series was um, so positive mental rehearsal, positive self-esteem, positive self-motivation, positive self-direction, positive self-image. So I listen. I could like wrote back to you like some of these and as I'm listening to it I can say it still at the same time because I still have it on my iPhone now I've downloaded it because I still use it to this day well I broke three school records at Springfield College my sophomore year in gymnastics and they held for eight years so what it was was because I changed my thinking and that's why I always brought it into my fitness world is because once I changed my thinking and thought differently about myself then I excelled what it was when I was talking negative about myself because I will say this and this is something you can keep in or keep out, I don't care. But my dad used to tell me I would never amount to anything. So I was the youngest of his seven children. He was kind of like a negative guy. Um, but I always said like, I was like, oh yeah, I'll show you, right? So I had that mentality, but it still hurt. So I think when I was in college, like I'm not good enough, I'm not this. Like I, I needed to do more. So when I got those tapes, I was like, I am good enough. I, I am a winner. Like, and that's what it was about. It's about the winning mentality, a, a winning psych, like mental 
state. It's not, it's not about winning a competition. It's about feeling like you're a winner. And so when I went into the Olympia, I used those tape series all the way up until the day I won the Olympia. Rich would have literally all over the house, he'd have, um, like I'd be laying in bed and on the ceiling it would say Miss Olympia Fitness by the toilet paper roll and say, you're a winner. Didn't matter where I looked in the house, it says, you're a champion, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're, like, so, it like, gives me the chills. Mm-hmm. Everywhere I looked, like, there was nobody who was going to beat me because I was already speaking that I was Miss Olympia Fitness. I was walking it, talking it, saying it to myself. So when I walked in, and it wasn't like, like, I was like, yeah, 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 I'm winning. But I went in with that winning mental attitude. And, um, and then they end up winning, so which is great. So I've used it all these years. I've referred, like I should probably have an affiliate code for the psychology of winning is what I'll tell you, uh, because I have referred it to so many people. So many people have downloaded it over these years, and um, it's still relevant today. Yeah, so I love Dennis Waitley. He's amazing. Yeah, the inner winner is another good one. So anyway. Do you find it's more difficult to make that change than a physical one? Because with a physical change... You, if you were training me, you say, okay, Matt, I'm going to you know, get, get you in shape. I can look in the mirror and I can start seeing those things. And, and when I start seeing the changes, my motivation increases because it's like, wow, what she's told me is working. I didn't believe it now, but it's, but it's working. Whereas when you, I, I, I like a lot of the psychology stuff like you do, but, um, and I, whenever I've got a chance, I've always got, I'm always listening to something, particularly mm-hmm. when things are tough. I find it, 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 it makes a difference. But also, I can see how some people don't believe in it because it's not like you can listen to a you can listen to Dennis Waitley's CD program and or DVD or whatever it's called now, yeah. <laughs> and you can change your life. It, right. you're, you've probably listened to it more times than you can remember. Um, and and from my experience as well, it's a constant thing that you've got to keep working on. Almost like if you want to create a good body, you've got to go to the gym a certain amount of times a week and work really, really hard. How do you? How have you been able to go from where you had someone in your family which probably had a massive impact on how, in, in your own self belief, particularly if it was someone like your father? I, yeah. I can't imagine how difficult that must have been. And then, through your own decision, um, <clears throat> turn that whole thing around and 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 created this belief in yourself, um, which I, my guess was was a, was a huge amount of work in actually pulling that off. Mm. Uh, what what do you think about that? And what advice have you got for people that are probably don't have that self belief, and um, and and that are trying or or not trying is the wrong word, but yeah. but f- want to find a way of, of of feeling better about themselves and and having more sort of positive conversations in their head. Sure, sure. Well, one of the things I will say is therapy is cool. So if people need therapy, they should go get it because there's a lot of people who grow up that have a lot of damage from their youth. And I don't care if it's physical, sexual, whatever the damage is, because I deal with a lot of women who have prior eating disorders and stuff like that. And it could be anything from binge eating to anorexia, whatever. And it's usually a spiritual malady they're dealing with. So it's something that they're trying to fill that void of something they didn't get from maybe a mom or a dad or whoever, whoever that impact person was in their life. Um, so we, I go like very deep with people where I ask questions and I'm like, okay, well, why, you, why do you want to get cheap? Uh, well, I want to get in shape because I want to feel better. Okay, well, why do you want to feel better? Well, because, you know, a year ago I was sick. Okay, well, you were sick because of what? Well, as we go deeper and deeper into these seven levels, I find out the reason why they really want to get fit is because their dad told them they were fat. I mean, it's crazy when you find it, like, and then the tears come. And I would say the reason why should make you cry because just wanting to get in shape, just to get in shape, that's not gonna that's not gonna drive you and it's not gonna keep driving you. So we have to go a little deeper, even in my business, even in my supplement businesses, and even in my all of the businesses I have, my new patch business and stuff like that. Everything I do, I have to find out their why. Because I need to I need to know what I'm fighting for with them. So if I don't know and there's just surface like superficial, it's not, it's not gonna change, they're not gonna change. So once I can get a little deeper and I can find out really deeply why they're wanting to change so badly, then I can um, then I can help them. Then we can start doing the work, the real work, and that's neck up, mm. <laughs> right? Yeah. So and I let them talk a lot too. That's something with uh, my clients. Rich used to hate it. He's like, "You guys are always talking." I'm like, "I'm not talking. I'm just listening. I just want to hear what the, like what's going on." Because right? because they usually finish the workout and they're like, "God, I feel so much better." I'm like. 
yeah, we didn't get much done today, but I'm glad you feel better. But it was because they got it out. They got the, that talking out. They got the crying out, whatever it was. Yeah, I'm taking them through a workout. Maybe it wasn't the hardest workout, but it's what they needed on that day. So, you know, I just kind of read people. I think I'm pretty intuitive in regards to reading somebody's um, energy when they come in. I can see it in their eyes. I can see sad today, like something's up, you know? So I got to be a little more gentle. I got to kind of massage it a little bit. And yeah, so, but I, I love, I'm, I'm so glad my professor, Dr. Fiore, I'll never forget him when he said, you need psychology. You need a psychology major. And I was like, really? Why? You know, but then now I'm so glad I have it because it helps me more than my whole health and fitness side of my degree. So, yeah. <laughs>